everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and I like to share with you easy and delicious recipes as well as my love for all things Aldi and Trader Joe's. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you like videos with new recipes and grocery hauls, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my channel and then you will get a notification whenever I put out a new video. So today I have two easy dump and go crock pot recipes for you that are full of flavor and very easy to prepare. These are perfect for if you have a busy day or afternoon and you just wanna throw all the ingredients together in the crock pot and walk away. The first recipe is a creamy crock pot chicken tortilla soup and the second recipe is a crock pot baked ziti. Generally, when I make a meal, I will look at several recipes online and tweak the recipe depending on what ingredients I have on hand, as well as my personal preferences. So I will post a link in the description below with recipes that are really similar to the ones I am making, but I have tweaked both of these recipes to fit my personal preferences. I hope you enjoy this video and please comment below and let me know which recipe you think looks best as well as, as if you try the recipe I would love to hear how it went and how you liked it. Okay let's get cooking! The first recipe is this crock pot creamy chicken tortilla soup from Dash of Mandy's blog. I love her blog and recipes you should definitely check her out if you're looking for dinner inspiration. For the chicken tortilla soup, you will need chicken broth, a can of diced tomatoes with chilies, a can of black beans, an onion, garlic, green pepper, corn, chicken breast, sour cream, cheddar cheese, lime, cilantro, and a variety of spices which I'll go over later. You can start by laying your large chicken breast on the bottom of your crock pot, then add about a cup of roasted corn. This was just frozen corn that I roasted on my stovetop, but you can also get roasted frozen corn from Trader Joe's, or just use regular corn if you don't have roasted. Then you're going to add in about a cup of diced green pepper or just one full green pepper, that's what I'm using here. Next, add in one diced white onion and one can of black beans that has been drained and rinsed. Now add in your can of diced tomatoes with chilies. And then add in your four cups of chicken broth. Give that a little mix. Look at all of those beautiful colors. And then we're going to add in some minced garlic. This was not in the recipe, but I just love garlic in almost everything. Now we're going to add in our spices. Start with one tablespoon of cumin. Next, add one tablespoon of chili powder. I accidentally got a little overzealous with the chili powder, but that's okay. Then add two teaspoons of paprika. I'm using smoked paprika, but you can just use the regular kind or whatever you have on hand. Then add about a fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm not measuring since it's a small amount, I'm just giving it a little shake and then mix it together. Last, you can add a couple bay leaves, I'm adding two, and then salt and pepper to your taste. Now you can place the lid back on your crock pot, close it up, and cook on low for about six hours or high for about three hours or until the chicken is fully cooked through. Once your chicken is fully cooked, you can remove it from your crock pot, place it in a bowl, grab a couple forks and shred it up. I love that this recipe allows for the chicken to cook right in the soup. It just saves time from having to cook it on your stove in a pan and makes life a little bit easier. Go ahead and dump your shredded chicken back into your soup and then we're going to add about a half cup of sour cream into your chicken tortilla soup. That's going to make it really nice and creamy. I definitely recommend adding this. Uh, my husband doesn't like sour cream but he didn't even know it was there and he loved it. 
And very last, you can add in about a half cup of shredded cheddar cheese, stir that in, and it's ready to serve. I highly recommend serving this with a squeeze of fresh lime, cilantro, and tortilla chips. You can also add avocado, shredded cheese, or a dollop of sour cream on top. The next recipe is this super easy, flavorful crock pot baked ziti. You will need 16 ounces of ziti pasta. I didn't have ziti, so I'm using rigatoni. Two jars of marinara sauce, a 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese, two to three cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, and then it's optional to include a pound of ground beef, parsley, and I'm including two diced zucchini. If you are including ground beef, you can start by browning that up on your stovetop. Next, spray the inside of your crock pot with a little Pam or cooking spray. Next, add in your 16 ounces of pasta, and then you can add in your two jars of marinara sauce on top of that. You want to make sure you have two jars or 48 ounces so that your pasta has enough liquid to fully cook in. Then add in your 15 ounce container of ricotta cheese. And on top of that, you can add in a heaping cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese. And you can mix all that together. Next, add in a few generous shakes of dried parsley flakes. I feel this just adds a nice color and a little seasoning. If you don't have parsley, you could add an Italian seasoning. I think that would be good too. Then I added in two diced zucchini just to add a little veggies into this dish and bulk it up a little bit. This is optional. You don't need to add the zucchini if you don't have any. Last, we're going to add in our pound of cooked ground beef to the pasta, mix that in, and top with your remaining cup of mozzarella cheese. I added a little extra, and then you're going to put the lid on your crock pot, cook on low for three to four hours, or on high for one to two hours, or until the pasta is fully cooked. And it will look like this. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe so that you can see more recipe ideas that I put out as well as grocery hauls. And I would love to hear your comments below. Let me know what looked most tasty to you as well as if you try these recipes at home, I would love to hear how they turn out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.